If I were that rich ham, bara 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 FC, all day long I'd watch around the ground, then I'd be a wealthy man. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Around the Grounds. I'm at Hampton and Richmond Bar Football Club. Conference South. Um, I've waited eight, nine months for this and we got it. A glorious, sunny, warm afternoon. Whoever said we'd never see the day again. Junior Beaver Tuck Shop. Beavers of a nickname, Hampton, Richmond Bar there. Um, we got some um, standing terraced area. We will come back round to that. Press seating area. Look at all that nicely wires up there. Um, little seating down here and plenty of seating up there. I've been here once before, I think, um, the early 2000s. It has changed um, for the better. It's improved immeasurably. Bits of it were here before that I remember, but I love what's going on here. Thanks, guys. I um, like the green red and blue so more seating here as we reach the end of this near side and in the corner you can see it says draft beer there and there's a little bar in there the thirsty beaver to come here i had to go um, into london i went to Vauxhall and came out of Vauxhall to Hampton Station, which is just over half a mile away. I suppose it took about 10 minutes. I stopped to get a sandwich, so um, I guess if I hadn't stopped, it would have been about 10 minutes. So another covered area up this far end here. Everything's very red and blue as we walk around. Lovely area as you walk from Hampton Station, actually. The shops just... I've said this on the channel many times before, but sometimes you just step out at a station and it's got a lovely feel to it. And this place has a lovely feel to it, or the whole town of Hampton. Um, for a point of reference for those that don't know, it's um, very near Twickenham, um, which was a couple of stops before we got here. So out, um, out of London, but probably still classed as London, um, Richmond Borough. He mentioned, of course, in the club name. And that's looking back at where we've just been. A little breeze today. Pitch looks immaculate. Very much looking forward to this, actually. Um, hard standing, of course, all the way round. It's interesting to go to Conference South. Matches, uh, ground, see how they differ from each other. When I came in today, they've got a whole load of kids' activities. And they have publicised that on their uh, website and Twitter feed and what have you. And... There's a, a real buzz there as well. You came in, there were kids playing everywhere. There's um, kids walking around in football kit. Um, girls as well as boys. Love to see it. It just makes this club today feel absolutely alive. Thriving, I really hope it is. And it's an absolute pleasure to be here. These are the dugouts that I'm just walking past. Now as I'm being deafened by the music. Um... Fairly unremarkable, actually, as dugouts go. And then another little bit of cover here. And those bits at the end, so that seating area behind the goal there, and the little, um, I don't know what you want to call it, building construction to the right of it, that's what I remembered about here. And when I came before, as I say, I think it was in the early 2000s when they played Wealdstone, and... It just struck me at that time how isolated those two, that stand and the building next to it, appeared. The changes that Hampton and Richmond Borough have made means it no longer seems isolated at all. It really fits in nicely. And all the changes that I've done have been superb. A little old bit of terracing here, if you wanted to stand on it. Biggest issue I'm going to have today is the sun, so I'll probably go and um, sit in one of those stands but I am not complaining and that's um, you can see it's quite steep um, seating up there behind the goal probably a great place to watch the game actually just looking back at where we've just been lovely tree screen there TV tower
and then um, to the left here is Radio Beaver. You can see kids, as I say, in the red and blue players' tunnel to my left, and then there's another bar and food area in there. Let's have a very quick look ahead of us. This is where the turnstiles, this is where we came in, and that's the um, seating area and all the kids' activity going on there. <laughs> kids running around with bits of paper and a pencil. Fantastic job, Hampton and Richmond Borough. Absolutely love it, getting the kids involved so I say it's great to be here but it is bloody noisy already with an hour or so before kickoff but don't take my word for it why don't you come to Hampton and Richmond Borough yourself I'm sure you'll have a warm welcome do stay tuned for highlights of today's game and some steals at the end really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have click on like if you've hated every minute of it, click on dislike why not subscribe then all future videos that i do go to your youtube feed once you subscribe click on little bell click on the little bell you'll wake up in the morning and there'll be hordes of children in your back garden with activity backs thanks for watching speak to you soon this is hampton and richmond borough football club time final score Hampton and Richmond Borough nil Dartford nil uh, now there was a real end of season field game if ever I've seen one both sides had glorious chances to score and didn't but to be honest with you there were very few chances in the game it was watchable um, but it was hardly exciting However, having said that, lovely place to visit and the day had a real feeling of celebration about it and it was nice to be part of that. Thanks for watching and speak to you soon.